professional football started in 1892, and it was a rushing game. In fact, the forward pass wasn't even part of the game until 1911. Therefore, they used a very, very tall ball that was very, very short to run. And yes, that is a football. It saw some changes over the next few years, getting it longer and you know, a little bit shorter, making it more like the ball we have today. When American football started, there were only two teams, the Chicago Bears and the Arizona Cardinals, which originally started in Chicago, excluding the Canton Bulldogs. Before quarterbacks took over the game, and Erno Beckham Jr. made that catch against the Cowboys. And Aaron Rodgers threw that Hail Mary touchdown against the Lions. Teams rarely threw, but when they started to, the balls made shorter and longer for more accurate passes. Small changes to the ball were made over the years, but when the AFL came around in the 1960s, they had their new passing offense style. This included a thinner ball, which had more laces for easier passing. Not only did they bring a new ball, but they brought new teams. The Jets, Bills, Chiefs, Broncos. Patriots, Houston Oilers, which are now the Tennessee Titans, and of course, the Oakland Raiders. The ball has now become the ball we use in the NFL today. It's just a little bit shorter and has a couple less laces on it. It came to be when the two leagues merged in 1970 following Super Bowl IV, when the AFL Chiefs beat the NFL Minnesota Vikings in Super Bowl IV. The ball we have in the NFL right now in the 21st century, wasn't always used after the AFL-NFL merger. We had a different ball in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. It had the exact same measurements to it, it just looked a little bit different. So I'll show you a picture of it here. No matter the decade, the NFL ball has been made by Wilson since 1941, and every single point has been scored with a Wilson football since 1941. So every single comeback, and every single favorite player of yours, at least hopefully they didn't retire before 1941 has used a Wilson football. This means everyone from Jim Brown to Jerry Rice to Brett Favre To the GOAT, Sebastian Janikowski. Every single football has been made in Ada, Ohio. In fact, it's the only dedicated football factory in the world. Since the NFL keeps changing into more of a passing league, and running it keeps taking a step down what seems like almost every single season, don't be surprised if there is a new ball introduced that is even shorter, longer, and has more laces than the one we have now to make it easier for quarterbacks. One day, we might have a 6,000 yard passer. Back just 40 years ago, it was impressive to have 4,000 yards, and now we have quarterbacks going for 5,000. So maybe one day we will have a 6,000 yard passer. Wouldn't that be crazy? So, in review, we have a ball that was very, very tall and very, very short and very, very round. Then it had a few changes over the years to make it better for passing, but it was still pretty difficult to pass and teams couldn't get a tight spiral. But when the AFL and NFL merge, we get what we now call the Duke. This is the football we use today, and it has seen some aesthetic changes over the past 30 years. But it has the exact same measurements as the one that it started to use in 1970. Now let me explain how the ball was made to you in front of your, the class.